tonight on Top Engineer. I sit in a chair. Texfire sits in a chair. And Wedgehog sits in a chair. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a little bit of Top Engineer. I hope you're all well this evening. We have some interesting stuff for you tonight. Especially when it comes to our introductions. <laughs> and as usual, I'm joined by my co-hosts. Wedgehog. Good evening, everybody. And Dexfire. Do you think he's compensating for something? Yeah, no, I was just about to say that, you know, if there's ever been any doubts, that's gone now. And I, I don't exactly feel all that safe sitting here, given the god-awful clangy noise that's coming from it on my end. <laughs> Look, it is metal as all hell. Leave it alone. <laughs> well, yeah, it's metal as all hell, and it's going to turn into shrapnel in a minute. And bed itself in all of our faces and all over this studio. So I'm not that... I'm not that bothered about the crowd because they're all planks of wood as far as I'm concerned, but that thing scares me. crowd has gone wild, is what's happened. Look at them. They're, oh, they're beside themselves. Especially this one here. Good evening, folks. We have had a little bit of a studio upgrade. So in place of our Hilux, we have, and other than the tuning spork, we have ourselves a cool wall, although we won't be visiting that today. And we also have a bit of advertising in the background, because why not? And the old, the old Easter egg hidden here and there. So for tonight, we have a pretty cool challenge for you all. We're going to be escorting a VIP around a rather dangerous track. But before we move on to that, I think we have something a little new, do we not? Indeed we do. In which case... This week we're going to be trying a new segment, one which we're calling Texas Transformations. In this segment, I'm going to take an old Starship and I'm going to see if a, a little new technology could help it become something really special. Now my colleagues on this show, they like to talk about power. And power is important, but so is function. And when I think of power and function, well, the first thing that comes to mind is the Grafalcon Mark I Light Exploration Freighter. They've been navigating the spaceways for over 100 years, allowing smaller outfits to bypass the expensive orbital facilities and proceed directly to the surface. Dual role capable of both a light exploration craft and mining support, this is a marvelous craft. But as a 100-year-old design, it's showing its age. Let's see if a little new technology can make it in something really special. Now, she may not be as new as the sexiest ship off the yard, but she's got it where it takes. And with a couple of modifications, you can end up quite comfortable in an old ship. Won't you come aboard? Here we have the Grafalcon Mark III. You'll probably pick out right away, we've lost the hydrogen system. What we've discovered is that with the more efficient power thrusters on the atmospheric and the ion, we can actually skip the hydrogen step all the way and still make orbit. This cuts down on the amount of storage needed for components inside the ship. 
And while the basic ship was bare bones, you'll find that this modified one, well, it has a couple of nice amenities. First modification, taking out that clunky ramp and putting in a brand new ladder. Don't know why they didn't think about using ladders in the old days, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So, anybody who's been on a long space journey can tell you things can get a little ripe after a couple of weeks. So, our first improvement to this ship has been the addition of a washer and a dryer so you never have to wear the same underwear twice. We also have a full fresher facility complete with shower, but cleaning is only the first creature comfort that you find in this model. We have lovely bunk beds, which means that nobody has to get a crick in their neck sleeping in a cryo chamber. A welcome improvement, I am sure. As we proceed upwards, we can see the flight deck. We'll get to that later. But for now, the number two improvement, well, everyone needs their coffee first thing in the morning and our dead tech space coffee coffee bar is a welcome addition to the ship down in the galley space which we actually have a galley space now no more having to eat emergency rations you can actually make fresh food here in the galley while monitoring ship status on the ship screens above underneath the uh, catwalks you have the medical area complete with med station cryo chambers, another ship status display, and the gravity generator. You do lose a little functionality though because we have lost the refinery. But I've found that with these light exploration craft, a pair of arc furnaces will do just as well for most minerals that you're gonna encounter. But the really impressive stuff is up here in the flight deck, won't you join me? As we enter the flight deck, we see that we've retained the 180 degree view out the windows, but we've tossed the old flight system displays and we've gone with state-of-the-art cult system flight decks. Their heads-up display allow you to keep your situational awareness while keeping tabs on the ship systems. And then finally, the flight chair. We didn't change this because frankly, this flight chair is the best one I've ever seen. Look at the view from either direction and the view up and the view downward. Perfect. Don't mess with perfection. And now it's just time for us to start off our first challenge and our only challenge this episode going to be an episode long one I believe and the plan is we have assembled at a track that some of you may be familiar with essentially a half decent recreation of the Montreal circuit circuit uh, something geal, geal nerve I can't remember <laughs> but hey our plan for the challenge today is pretty straightforward we must make a vehicle to escort a vehicle around, make a vehicle, to escort a VIP around this track in order to somehow survive the onslaught of the other two who will be manning turrets, who will be manning gunships, who will be manning traps in order to prevent us from getting round. And it is the first of us to make it the first way, well, the first of us to make it round or potentially the person who gets the furthest, <laughs> depending on how well this goes. So, I'd say fellas, we're setting the feeling? bar a little low, but uh, well, Wedgie's going to be here, so. Oh, thank you very much. Going to know a lot of things about bars by the end of this, mate. <laughs> so the question is, who can come up with something that can survive? For example, down this end, a Gatling turret, a missile turret, and this is with track damage on. But not only that, we have some sneaky traps planted around here that might catch the unwary. And then finally, finally, tucked back in the hangar, opening after a set length of time, hunter killers, hunter seekers, ready to take out the unwary. So, what do you reckon, folks? A 45-minute build time? 
I think 45 minutes to build something proper armoured, proper prepared. How are you feeling? Sounds good to me. Sounds good. In which case, let's pick ourselves a garage. I'll be dropping by you guys to update from time to time. Maybe we should uh, try this time round alternating between commentary. If you know what I mean. One at a time, Sounds go good. over our builds. Yep. Okay. Who's the VIP? Uh, no, it's not Potatoes or R5. The VIP will be the guy who suggested this challenge to us in the first place. So Mr. Aravel has taken the map, set it all up for us, and basically set up this challenge, which was a pretty decent idea. We may even have to do it again. I can't help but notice that we're on a slight angle, so that should make things a bit more interesting. And, yeah, we're going to get him involved as our VIP for the challenge. And let's get... A timer going. I did not manage to get an on-screen timer going for this week. I apologise. For some reason, that's more difficult than you'd expect. But I am going to start one here. So, 45 whole minutes in which to build something strong enough to get around this circuit. Sure, Chris Golden. Uh, we can try and... I mean, this is up on, up on the workshop. I will make sure that we have a link to the workshop in the description after the stream. Pretty sure I actually forgot to put this one in. The angle is going to make things slightly interesting here. Let's slap that down at a sensible location. And I guess I'll start off with the commentary because... I don't really know what I'm doing. We intentionally did not look at this in advance. We don't really want to sort of get a, a hint as to what's going on just in case but i am inclined i think given we've got 45 minutes to try and stick together one of my dual layer chassis that sort of thing keeps going for a long while and if i can do it under an armor layer that might set me up really nicely for this because i think the main concern is going to be just not having any wheels basically you run out of wheels, you're not going anywhere. Wheels and cockpit, like the cockpit location is going to be crazy important. So hopefully that's enough of a space, we'll see. No idea what the other one's up to, I will go and sneak a peek at some point. I kind of do. And we want... Do we want the ramp wheels for this? Not so much. I want to do. We want to do big wheels, I think. Ah, yes. Now, if I remember rightly, the mirroring for wheels is broken at the moment. So, if you want to actually get wheels set up correctly, what you need to do is go and do it manually each side, because the five x five left does not correctly mirror with the five x five right. Way. No, it's definitely crooked, guys. It, the, 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 the track as a whole is definitely crooked. Okay, so we want as many sets of wheels as we can get space-wise to begin with. Yeah, that's the spacing as well. I'm going to mess around here. Something beefy. With bat, all the bat. Damn it, Aaron. So, we just need a cockpit for the VIP and then one for the operator. Well, obviously, right? you need somewhere to put your VIP. I would advise putting it somewhere sensible as well. You Would you know? Oh, as Clockwork Gremlin is pointing out, it was actually me that said nobody needs a race tank. And then all of a sudden, actually what you want is kind of a race tank. <laughs> I've already done one of these. The race tank. Yeah. I'm going to try and do something different with it, because why not? Let's change the front up a bit so that instead of having usual spacing we've got slightly different spacing more different spacing for raisins more different spacing because it's a bit tuning sporky 
enough space for turning on the front. Yes. And then go out the back a bit long. Race tank are the best. The rules of our challenge, just to reiterate, are that we must make a wheeled vehicle. Uh, we are, as of course we are making wheeled vehicles, we're not allowed to be messing around with no thruster garbage or anything like that. Uh, that is not what the rules were saying. I know that's not what the rules were saying. Uh, we can go by those if you really want, but I feel like that's... Sure, sure. Okay, fine. We'll have thrusters. Aravale's rules contain thrusters. I think thrusters are going to mean that uh, things end up being a bit silly. But fine. I think things are going to end up being silly no matter what. I have been overruled about. by Monsieur Texfar. Well, Mr. if I went halfway through my already intended design, it might be one thing, but... <laughs> we already intended design. I've already got an idea of what I want to do. What? Bloody cheese. Hey, Mayor, really? What? Well, I'm flipping screwed then, aren't I? <laughs> this is going to go great. They know what they're doing. They have a plan. I didn't, I didn't say I knew what I'm doing. I just said I've got an idea. I suppose technically I have one advantage. We're doing wheeled vehicles. I have not left myself enough space for the central setup like that, but I have. I also think. We're, we're, the way the race is set up, we're on never, not on the track at the same time. This is like a rally, so that's worth keeping in mind as well. There's no point going for weapons or anything to take out the enemy, because there isn't one. What about the Hunter Killer drones? Aren't they enemies? I suppose... I don't know. I think if Voice wants to be un unarmed, that's fine. Please tell me that's the right width now. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's the right width. It's still. It's still an odd number, that's the most important part. Okay, is it time for my annual stream comment where I complain that T is on by default? Oh, I haven't turned it off yet either. <laughs> God damn it. You'd think by this point we might know better. Yeah, that's the right I think. No, it's... Waste so much time on this. Trying to get this side of the thing. Right. Ah. Come on. Come on the thing. I love how finicky it is about trying to line up, and then at some point it just goes, yep, that's, oh, no, no, now you got it. Now everything's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. So we need ourselves off of that. Nice. Yeah, that fits. Should be able to get a single line down the center here to the back so that we can case this a bit. Get mirroring on. A weapon's disallowed? Apparently not. 
But we won't be racing at the same time. So if weapons are to take out the drones that will be shooting us down rather than anything else. But I wonder, maybe the VIP has to operate the weapons. How do you feel about that? Um, actually, the rules actually said the VIP didn't operate the weapons, but I'm I'm open to that idea. I'm just thinking to stop people just covering it in turrets. Well, stop. I say I I say people. When I say people, what I mean is wedge. Wedge, yeah, I know. That was a team effort. It wasn't just me. Might be my idea to put <laughs> the turrets on it, but you know. Other people signed off on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just when, saying. Well, what other people are these? Well, Biggie, for starters, I mean... Oh, well, okay. You know uh, what Biggie's like? Imaginary. That's what he's like. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Okay, so none of these rear wheels... Well, they can have a bit of turn. Your rear wheels don't move them. What's the point of them? Keeping the craft moving. <laughs> you. Gush. <laughs> okay, so now I want to get this thing out of the garage. Dust. <laughs> I'm feeling a little disappointed that I used the name Texas Folly as the... Uh, Last week's entry. But you can't help but feel this one's this one's more along mm, those lines. This one might be even more f more of a folly than the other one. Either gonna be beautiful or it's gonna be awful, or a little of both. Mm -hmm. oh, sounds amazing. That's just what you're after. Front wheel spacing is wrong, I know, but I think I might be able to cheat by adding the wheels on manually. Actually, maybe. No, I've got a plan for this. I've got a plan for this. Where's our heavy? So are we going to have the VIP operate weapons? Is that the plan? I think that sounds more sensible than the yeah, letting so Wedgie something to do. Yep. taking over, losing control, as he normally would. Mm-hmm. like a hardened front. I haven't messed up. Not off center, it's fine. Oh, that that bit at the front is. rest of it's centered, right? Don't troll me, chat. Get up, chat. It's using, the, yeah, it's using the same wheelbase concept as the Rancor and a, a few other vessels I've done. Because I know that this wheel concept is pretty reliable when it comes to keeping going. It's not, if I'm honest, the most maneuverable... Uh, maybe I can set the wheels up a bit better this time for that sort of thing. Normally it's set up on the basis that uh, I'm intending to be using it on dirt, whereas that won't be the case here. I'm thinking we go armadillo on Harpy. Do we go separate? Hmm. Mm. I wonder. Wasted. The back is messed up. The back is indeed messed up. Oh, what happened? Something's moving. Um. Yeah, my ship is uh, clinging. Uh. Or the wheels are running off of my ship and clinging. 
Why not? Seems legit. Fail. Massive fail. Epic fail. Enough wheel clearance? Yes. Okay, hang on a second. Maybe there's some legs to that. So you're building a walker then? Wedgie. Oh. What are you up to? You I'm making a mess. Um, I hear I'm, about your thinking, build. I'm thinking tons and tons of armor, uh, protected wheels, that kind of thing. The only problem is I'm struggling to place one of my wheels at the moment. Yep. Hey guys, I just made a faction uh, top engineers before somebody starts placing random weapons. That would never happen. Playing. Yeah, nope. You're right. It would never happen. You need to... Uh... Yeah. Apparently I'm already in a... Yeah, apparently we already need to be in a faction. Be in the attacker's faction. Doorbell. Yep. <laughs> Okay, though. It's not the mailman. Because he rings twice. See Always. It. My name is Morph coming back, and what's tonight's episode about? Well, tonight's episode is about escorting a VIP around a track. Which hasn't happened yet, but should be coming up in 28 minutes. Fucking hell, time's going fast. Hmm. <laughs> that was less time than I was expecting. If I thought about it, I probably would have realised, but... So, in line underneath. One for Vip, one for me. Why the fighter cockpit? Because more blocks equals more durability. Uh, more, sorry, more components. More components required in the block required it equals more durability for the block. So a fighter cockpit has higher durability. You think you're so clever using science on us, don't you? Well, it won't work. Science? Fuck. You have a funny idea of science, my friend. A lot of people do these days. It's all facts. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, your, your technical understanding is going to help you all the time wasted. Be your down It'll be your downfall one day, I'm sure. Yeah, if you say so. I think I think the the floating block bugs will be my downfall eventually. The fuck is this? It's got away. It's all right. I'm not. I'm not certain mine's going to be quite as good as you. Guys, to be honest, I, I'm not convinced by 
the weight more than anything. I, think I might have a weight problem. So why are you going to put your thing on the Atkins diet? Possibly. I think we go no carb first. Go from there. I don't know. I'm not so sure. We'll see. So we're going to need something in here to make it worth and I can't help but feel like we're after some of the but opportune positions so we've left ourselves a decent spot for Cover the front, but leave the rest open <clears> if I can. Not too bothered about weapons in the slightest, in reality. I don't think weapons is the answer. VIP's crap, anyway. do a, a heavy armor mohawk rather than a light armor one. Fine. But Mohawk we shall do. Close. Make it into a really wide version of that starting vehicle from farm again. Hmm. Yeah, that is a good call. That is a very good call. I'm not going to say what it was, but it's a good call. Is chat telling me to go and cheat? Look at us and stuff. I feel lost without slabs. I do too. I was like, like, oh, why didn't we add slabs? 21 minutes, folks. 21. Under this pressure, I can't work. Oh, not fair. So far from being in the zone, so far from anything, it's just 
all going wrong. It hasn't, it hasn't exploded yet, mind. This time. Yeah, that is true. The stream is young. Can we see Texas for a sec? Probably should, mm. shouldn't we? He has been completely AWOL this whole time. I'm not AWOL, I'm just quietly contemplative. AKA unacceptable. I'm gonna go and check out Tex in a second. <laughs> Actually, that's good to know. I should probably get rid of that if it's going to fall off that easily. Although I could have braced it on from the sides, couldn't I? So. No, oh, someone's uh, doing something nasty uh, right now. Uh, ironically, it was the guy who demanded the faction. I demanded the faction, but I forgot that uh, old Aravel, <laughs> who didn't set up any factions, has claimed this building. Right. Before I fill this puppy up, let's get some batteries in here. Oh, I think the batteries are the best option. Yeah. She's certain. Yep. The battery backbone. That's what they call it. Batteries also look kind of cool. A way I can stick it back here. I think I can it. We'll call it redundancy rather than me just getting carried away with batteries. That's what we'll do. I have redundancy, folks. Never fear. Time is running out. 16 minutes. How fast can you build something that absolutely terrible? Question. Oh, I'm I'm pretty fast at making things that are terrible. That's what. If that's the real question. Well, I have no idea. I've I've got very much carried away with trying to make mine actually look half nice, and I probably shouldn't have done that. Right, let's go and check out Tex. He's been awfully silent. Here we have an update on the status of Wedgie. Wedgie has built a tank for the turret on. 
top. This is our hunting ship, and here is the text file. Oh. Hello? Oh, really? I see. Text file is taking some some hints from the fact that this map has been driven before on streams on on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> but it does look fragile. I need to keep going. I think it's time for firepower. Place for it's I'm afraid this thing is gonna be completely overweight. You're afraid yours is going to be overweight, lol. Oh, yeah. I am indeed. Concern yourself not, Mr. Dexfire. If, if, if the worry is being overweight, I, I, I got you, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> Hold my beer, bro. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. that much left the battery ram Chris Golden that is indeed fucking golden that's awesome man I love it all right let's um right we need to do a few more we're down to 13 minutes so let's give ourselves some friendlies Gotta get going, because otherwise I'm not gonna. What's the timer at? 12 minutes and 18 seconds. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, 45 minutes goes fast. I was like, ah, uh, we we need probably, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah, indeed. The, the text was suggesting prior to the stream starting that we went with a 15-minute timer. I think not remember what was what he originally suggested. Yeah, hey, that sounds about right to me. Bad man. Depends, it depends what you were going for. Shit. Just one more piston. Says David Oat a long Hashtag time ago. One more piston. Sorry for missing your, your donation there, sir. It was a while ago, but yes. Thank you very much, very much. 
Oh god, I'm so ashamed of this. It's hideous. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, no. Nope. What are you noping at, Tex? Um, I painted it one color and immediately went, nope. <laughs> fire engine red is not working on this one, sorry. Not a fire engine, Roger. No, 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 it just, it was way too much red. Mine's looking like if I had another, say, 45 minutes, it would look quite cool. Ah. The problem is what I don't have is another 45 minutes. Don't do that. Uh, I had a minor setback. Good. Yeah, some things exploded. <laughs> Ideal! That was wonderful. Huzzah! Things on tech's end are exploding. Everyone is happy. I've also screwed up here. I have no front end armor. This this needs to be rectified, kind of ASAP. Save it and finish later. That's not a bad plan. Not a bad plan. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but I actually think it's sort of, in a weird way, I could make this into a sort of armored bus if I spent a bit more time on it. But at the moment, I'm rushing things hard, as I'm sure the other guys are as well. <laughs> Come on. Okay, what to do, what on earth to do with this? I don't even I have no idea. Should really have something up the front that makes it worthwhile having this front. But what? What are we putting here, guys? Help me. Put a load of warheads that are armed. There, there you go. No, how about... How about, how about yeah, me and Tex are in agreement no, for once. That's a good no, idea. No, I don't... No, no, no. I mean, you'll be over really quick, you know. That's the thing, isn't it? As soon as you can. Yeah, that is, that, that is the one, isn't it? Yeah, good, good call, Wedgie, there. Good call. Yep, yep. Over, over as fast as possible is, is the goal. Now I remember. Thanks, man. Almost made he's, a big mistake. He's on your side, I can tell. Well, we're all comrades here, so we'll uh, we'll stand by each other to the hilt, I'm sure. Hmm. I got a plan. Gats. Everyone's like, GATS! 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 You need GATS! Alright, all the GATS. We GAT it up on the front. Yeah, I think that's appropriate, to be honest. Just in case we need to break through some bitches. Hmm. What? <laughs> okay. So do you expect know. to be encountering bitches out there on the like, track? You never know. You never know. Sometimes problems just crop up and you're like, oh shit, son. Bitches on the track. It just got real.
We have five minutes and 46 seconds remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Too much cat! Piston gats. No, no, no piston gats. No, I'm inclined to think that we might want to actually give her a drive now. It's perfect. It destroys its own landing gear and then just sits fine. I have to delete some of the map just to get mine out of the... Uh... Right. I need to antenna on this and work out which wheels not to turn. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually hurt itself. And the floor. Whoa, lagalicious. What are you doing? What are you doing, Wedgel? It's blatantly just delete you. It. I'm just deleting a couple of blocks it's so I can get... It's blatantly you. Okay, now what was that? Uh, that might have been mine. How rude. Yeah, you're not in the faction. We need to be in the attacker's faction, because I think that's what's needed for the turrets. So yes, I, my, one of my turrets may have just wrecked you. Like, quite hard. So, that's worth remembering, Reggie. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to take that into account. <laughs> one missile turret, small missile turret, just dealt whatever damage was necessary. Apparently. Just as an FYI. <laughs> I'm a bastard. Okay, we need we need an antenna on this so that I can work out which way around stuff are going. Make it red. That's very that, that that's a good point. We need Yorky. Get uh, a nice blood red on there. You go. Cool. Now let's just identify our wheels. Uh, so eight, ten, three, four. Three, four, eight, and ten. Uh, not back. That's not wheels. Cool. We're set. Ready? Ready for the moment of truth? Oh, yeah. The one minute and 54 seconds left. Fuck. Ah, quit. This is a problem. Um. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what was it? It's three, four, eight, and ten. I think. At the front. Theory means that if I turn the rest of these off...
Nice. Alright, okay. Oops. <laughs> 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop your building. Ha 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 ha! Yes! <gasps> Thank fuck. <laughs> there we go. Well then, please bring your vehicles to the line. I need to do a bit of setup on mine. Delete some of the map to get mine out. One second. Oh God. Okay. Wedgie, why? Well, it's it's a bit taller than than uh, garage is allowed for. So. Something's quite wrong with mine. <clears throat> so, my proposal here would be to allow, because I don't believe any of us have actually had a chance to test our designs yet. Mm -hmm. A short, uh, what would you call it? Testing period? Test lap. Like, test like, lap. like, like sort of, yeah, a, a test lap way in which you can do minor reconfigurations. But no more. So say uh, a total of what should we have it? Five minutes? Per person? Yep. Where everyone's watching? Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, we might need to reload. Yes, well, yes. no worries. We're going to take a break. Just get yourself out to the line if you can. I'm working on it. Mine appears to destroy everything in, it, in its wake, so... Um... And mine won't stop moving. Because of the hill, basically, I think. Because we're on a slope, it just won't stay still. <laughs> I'm going to put a thruster on the front of it for the purposes of making it stay still for now. I will remove it again. Although, to be honest, I'm just going to add them back in again in my free time. But, yeah. Um, at the moment, it won't stay still unless I do that. Whereas you've already got them. So. Mm. What the um, hell? Quit blowing up You're my not space. in the faction. I'm in the... The I'm wrong the faction. Engineer you're, faction. You're not in the faction that I've said three times now. Was you had to join because it's the faction the track ignores. Thank you. Which one is that? Attackers, the attackers. Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because otherwise the track will shoot you anyway. I'm not even in my ship at the moment. Sorry. Wow, the lag is incredible. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're losing control now. Uh, no, I almost accidentally deleted the track. <sighs> yeah, that can happen. We have a hole. That'll be an yeah, interesting I, thing. I Leave it. That. Leave it. 
What? Just leave a hole in the middle of the track? Yeah. The gift for the start finish line. Okay, fine. <laughs> So then, let's take a quick observation of the craft we've got. Wow. Three very, very different vehicles. We have Texfire, who has gone for the hovercraft approach that has been popularized by, well, races on my tech Twitch streams, I feel. Originally created by Northy Park. Tex has made himself some sort of gangster wagon. Does it have a name, sir? It, uh... I'm calling it the Rhino, but now I'm considering it maybe my hovercraft is full of eels. My hovercraft <laughs> is full of eels, perfect. Eddie is odd. Okay, and then we have Wedge. I mean, what is this even? Well, now that I look at it, like from behind it kind of reminds me of the little tank thing you get when you're playing Space Invaders to shoot the ships. It it's pretty ugly. It is pretty ugly. But you've definitely won the ugly award for this evening. Yeah. Ooh, um Yeah, maybe. It's also destroyed uh, a lot of its armor already. Mine has some angles that it looks good from and some angles that it doesn't. Leave me alone. You never had time to finish. I would like to point out that mine actually has angles. Yeah, but it, it, even, it it's tiny. I even got some greveling done. I'm Did gonna say thing. you get you you've, get squished. I'm gonna say, Tex, you've built this thing before already, so essentially what you're yeah. doing is cheating. I have never built this thing before. Well, you've built something along these lines before. Built a hovercraft, I'm sure. Uh, I propose building hovercraft for Escape from Mars and never did it. I have built a car before. Well, that thing isn't a car, that's just... It looks like a reject from Captain Scarlet. Yeah, no, it no. was probably... It's the General D's, like, slightly delinquent cousin. Slightly <laughs> delinquent. This is his redneck cousin. <laughs> now, Wedgie, you've definitely made a monstrosity like this before, though. I recognize this. Oh, yeah. That's I'm... one of your Robot Wars bots. I, I can see it. There's, there's a bit of that in it. There's a bit of that in it, I will say. I was gonna, I was tempted to build a massive bar spinner on it just to chop off all the turrets, but I thought that would be too plangy, so... Uh... We have made some horribly ugly things, in reality. What we've done here. Well done, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, Wedge, come join me on the start-finish line. I think, given that we need to do a quick reload for Texas' benefit, why don't we also drop to a quick advert break? What do you reckon, guys? Sounds about right. I think so. We will be right back after this word from our sponsors.
Congratulations! You have been selected as the potential winner of today's free iPhone 7, PlayStation 4 or Samsung Galaxy S6. Please click OK to claim your prize before we give away to anyone else. It's wedge. <laughs> <laughs> I think you may have cornered yourself a little. Yep. <laughs> 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 no! Nothing to worry about at all. <laughs> It is time, ladies and gentlemen, Wait, for the final race. You should. We have a wedgie. We have a text fire. We have a wasted. We have three horrible looking vehicles. We have ten minutes in which to customize things. And if Mr. Aravel, you'd like to jump in and join us as our VIP and the creator of this scenario, that would be pretty awesome. 
Yes, chat has all figured out that I did a whole intro while being muted. Yep. Well done, guys. No. Oh. Each week, I promise it'll get better. And and yes, one of the things that needs to get better is my ability to mute myself at random. So, you guys ready? Ten minutes. I think we should do this together. Yep. I think that would be more um, amusing if nothing take else. Take a cup, another copy, just to be on the safe side. All right, ten minutes to start it. And I know already some stuff that I need to do with mine. Like, for example, this bottom row needs to get out of here. And we also... Where did I put the ammo? Right. These are fine. Wow, I really needed all of those. But let's actually put them in the hull. Whoa, what's going on with the lag? X has crashed on the first corner. Oh, right, I see. It's quite spectacular. Holy crap. Tex, that that is got to be a spectacular crash to cause that much. The, the side uh, of the, the track no is gone. I am on a slideshow. <laughs> oh, and it went. There it goes. <laughs> so everything has started well for the testing. <laughs> it's worth mentioning that any track damage, I think, should be persistent. <clears throat> okay. Because I think that would be amusing. <laughs> Basically. What's this bullshit? Who's put a bunch of doors in the middle of the track? Uh, the guy who made it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, so not, like... not the guy who made it, it's uh, I made it, but the guy who oh. made the scenario. Alright, that's not going to work. What are we meant to do about it? Just drive through them or something? Uh, you're supposed to get there before they activate, basically. Oh. for breaking and now uh, said I couldn't why can't I control the wheels the steering's not working ah my wheels are off who turned my wheels off? Mm. What are you, fuckers? Mm. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Okay. Looking alright now. We should probably get a bit of drift. We have seven minutes left. Can't even get over the first obstacle. Um, madman put a wall in the middle of it. So they did. <laughs> did someone crash again, by any chance? Oh, it feels I, like I someone's know. crashed. Slide so, slideshow simulator again. Did you crash again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh there yeah. Not be any track <laughs> left before we even start. You'll be fine. Oh. Um. Okay, there might be some interesting physics going on with space engineers and collisions at the moment, because I'm the host, and... What is going on here? 
Yeah, I'm sinking through the floor. Holy shit. I, I just pasted hmm. in a, a copy of this thing and the entire track underneath it disappeared. This is before I made any changes. No. Part of the problem with pasting something in that's as large a grid as my Montreal track is it's just a bit dodgy. Um, I can't actually move or go anywhere. Neither can I. Wang has taken my wheels away. Everything was working so fine last time. Well then, how did I choose the VIP by um, the guy who made the scenario? Well, though, admittedly, I thought he was already on my friends, and that would have been good to know in advance, because that makes things a bit more difficult. Uh, oh, okay, that wasn't me this time. Wedgie? Oh my this... word. The turrets are, are shooting. Okay? The turrets are shooting. By oh, the looks of things. There's explosions going off on the far side. In fact, there's, there's all sorts of explosions going off on the far side. Arabo, what did you put in this map, man? Extracted the essence of Clank. Uh, I'm just, just thinking he laced it with like warheads and stuff, I'm which isn't a very sensible us, idea. To be honest. Yeah. Mm. What did we call this? We called it something, didn't we? What was it? Oh yeah, I did miss something. You're a good point. I can't even paste my one in now without it. Yeah, I'll reload. We're gonna have to. <laughs> yeah. Apparently we're gonna have to reload after every round. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, if that causes a problem with the VIP thing, then don't worry about it, Arabel. Well, it doesn't look like the VIP is going to be needed. If we finish the track, we'll be lucky. <laughs> well, maybe at least we can get a little bit of a a sneak peek. No, we can't even get a sneak peek of the upcoming thing. The wrong loading screen. The battery ram. Thank you. Stream delay is pretty damn high. Well, we have 53 seconds.
Yeah, the VIP gets dejected on the basis that I'm concerned that the map is barely running as it stands, and if we invite another person, that's a problem. The map is now even struggling to load. Aha, there we go. I don't want to trade. <laughs> Do you not? No. <laughs> you want to trade what? Ships? Again, my weirdly off wheels, because some fucker. I don't know to fuck with things. So let's not uh let's not start this race early. Shall we? No, let's not. Any chance I can get you to change the day, time of day to Yeah, it's not gonna update for you though. No. Oh. No, I just did. Whatever you just did. You said you, you managed to say it just did before I'd finished changing it. Oh, well, then don't change it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that had already happened. I was halfway through changing it. It updated almost instantly to whatever time you saw first. Get rid of my old builds might help, I suppose, but I can't help but feel that that's not really the problem. Everything appears, to be. Yep. Everything appears to be the problem. Okay, well, get in, Wedge. Get your vehicle in. You broke it. The only one, the uh, only one the I think... Kind of broken, but yeah. Did you not have a blueprint? Yep, I do. Are you there? I can't hear you. I am, yes. I think I think I'm set. How about you two? I think I'm about ready as well. Yep. Yeah, I've managed to replace the parts that disappeared. Nice. It's a good idea if you're making scenarios like this, stuff that you intend to repeat, then add something to well, go into scenario mode basically and 
in scenario made make the track invulnerable. Yep. Well, obviously he intended the track to go away, or else he wouldn't have put warheads underneath it. Yeah. Your vehicle is a spit. Uh huh. And has rear pit. Right side up. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, stop, 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 stop. The downhill slope is causing taste problems. You got your dampers on. Um, I, I don't know. Get in. Get in fast. Get in first. Come on. Quit, 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 quit. It would help if I wasn't on a slideshow. Mine on my end. Um. Uh. Okay. Paste it back in again I, before I, deleting. I don't know that that actually helped. <laughs> quit. Quit helping. God. Okay, somebody delete that pa one. Uh, yeah, paste it back in before deleting. Multiplayer is particularly balked. Uh, yeah, Aravel, don't uh, don't worry about trying to do something that that freaked out big style as soon as you got in. It might look alright on your end, but it's not on the server's end. So who's going to be the first sacrifice to Clang then? Yeah, obviously, the VIP. VIP can't get in because Clang kills us all before, you know. VIP can get in, it's just uh, he needs to get in and not control the vehicle, apparently. <laughs> I think Steam's doing its Tuesday night thing. Ah, right, nice. Oh, good timing. Are you disconnecting? No, you're not. I've not had connection with the server for 30 seconds and I'm offline on Steam. Oh, lovely. So am I. Okay. I think it's time to take a quick be right back, guys. I guess I'll run a clip from last time. Apologies. Steam is doing its its thing. Introducing the Revolution Spark. Fitted, furnished, and ready for travel anywhere in the verse. Guests and your crew will travel comfortably in this fully fitted and well appointed interior. The engineers at iHarpo and Griffin have spared no expense with this interior. With plenty of room to exercise, relax in a social environment, cook, and otherwise keep your crew and guests busy and entertained. Fitting within the hauler ship classification, there's no shortage of space inside or out, be it transporting wealthy passengers or hauling the latest tech. With a good-sized crew complement for its class, and no expense spared when it comes to material choices, iHarbor and Griffin really have shown themselves a class leader. But you're not that sort of captain. I hear you like power. Well, this ship has a dark side. She's got power and more to boot. Tucked below decks, the latest in command center technology keeps your ship safe and running sound. As the captain, you of course deserve the best bridge around, and you will not be disappointed in this area. Got fighters or want somewhere to hide your haul? The Revolution Spark has you covered. And did someone say guns? No, guns. No, I mean guns. That's right, Onco's finally got itself a ship worth talking about. 
Maneuverability, speed, a great interior, all in one sweet pack. The Revolution Spark, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm not sure what to say. Are you guys back in? You look like you're I'm in, here. but I can't tell. Uh, I was never gone. Uh, I'm seeing if I can connect to Steam at the moment. Ah. Nope. Well, I guess we can do Texas run first, at least. Um, There's no reason to no. wait for that. Might do yours first and see if that clears up a little bit here, because I'm I can't even drive right now. Um, and the track okay. is disappearing from underneath my vehicle as we speak. Okay, in which case, one of you guys text maybe? You want to start timer? <clears throat> I will be happy to. Uh, what we want to just remove the vehicles that we aren't using, try and maximize our... Might as well, it's fine for me. Oh. Okay, well, we can leave them there. If I'm getting 1.0, 1.0, 60 FPS, everything's fine. Yeah, I'm getting server of 1 and sim speed of 0. 0.6. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready? Are you ready? Aravel, are you on the server? Are you getting in? Am I taking a VIB or not? I am muted at the moment, apparently. Except I'm quite clearly not muted. No, you're not muted. What? These guys are lying to me in chat. They're lying to me. They're lying. That's the problem. Fucking trolls. Right, okay. I demand proper music, at least, to go with my, my charging forth. Let's go for a little bit. Oh. Well, Aravel's here. Ah. Get in. Yeah, I've been trying to say it, I think. I'm going to just go. Roger. You ready to start your timer? Be ready in three, two, one, go. Right, bitches. Don't forget you can man the turrets. Oh shit. Oh shit. I got too keen. There may have been some problems. Uh, just, just come on. Don't, don't go slideshow on me space engineers. It's recovered, but I'm not breaking in the slightest. This is all over. And we're going to time this to the impact, right? I'm sorry. You know, no, uh, no. What we're going to do is we're going to go and load a different race map. Honestly, there's something I'm wrong with this map. I'm going to say I need you to restart it, Space Engineers. It should not. As, uh... It should not behave like that when you impact a surface. Space Engineers is better than that recently. That, that map is broken. I'm sorry, but that is the scenario. Like, do, do, the way... It, I'm acting surprised because it's, it's wrong. Like, if we go and load up... Um, here we go. Load up this one. Wait for the difference. Genonymous is... Yeah. So, it'll just be for speed now. <laughs> yeah, I, I still think that's appropriate. Yeah, at least we got a custom tip. I want to make it so that people have to... Uh, Attention to the loading screen tips, etc.
maybe set it back. We shall see. Maybe it'll work fine in the future. Something's not right there at the moment. Now, at least this will give us a benchmark to see. This has turned from top engineer to space engineer debugging. <laughs> there, there's really not that far a distance. I'm well aware I turned the friction to zero. That was what I wanted to do. This tip is looking more and more appropriate the longer this goes on for. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but feel that it's just about right. Old cat has shown up. He says that he is the reason why SE is now bugging. Did they break SE again in the recent upset? Have I missed something? If it can break, it will break. Well, it was working just fine for us not 20 minutes ago. I no, just, I four, literally just relaunched the game though. Four mods, four mods, old cat. There's four, yeah, there's four on this server. This is this is a light one. Lol Aravel. There's no <laughs> any compensation for issues encountered. If anything, issues encountered are on space engineers end. I'm gonna claim compensation. Because I'm a bad person, but no. Well, yeah, we all know that already. Could just go over and shout at Zoc. I'm sure he's live somewhere. He always seems to be live, that man. It's died. It's died on us. I don't want to run like I'm. It's sad. I don't... I've made. There's three pieces of, of relatively unique content for this, uh, and I feel bad running them. Um, let's go to this screen. Look, look, there's even more, more stuff here. <sighs> An error occurred. Space Engine is, is already running. Let's see if we can find it in Task Manager. Is it there? <laughs> like fuck it is. Space Engine is, is not already running Steam. Go away. Could could this stream go downhill any harder? Holy shit. I don't even have any way of recovering from this either. I've I've got I've got, I've got nothing. I've used it all. I I had two gimmies. Two two potential Hey, look, here's a cool video while I reloads. And now I have to re retry connection because Steam will not collect unless I go in offline mode. Ugh. Really? No, it's going to be one of those episodes. I did jinx it harder. I did. <sighs> what to do? Well, we well, can here we always go. go with. Oh. Go ahead. Apparently, it's it, it's alive again. Everything's fine now. We're all fine here. Everything's fine. Come on, Space Engineers. Do not mess with me. Just let me load a map so that we can at least try to do this challenge. Please. Please.
Stop slapping Clang in the face and laughing. I suppose that that is a, a possibility. I think it's alive. I think. Just load, space engineers. Come on, I'm crossing my hands. Everything. I'm crossing my feet. I'm crossing my toes. I have all the things crossed. I'm crossing my ears, for fuck's sake. Crossed ears, everybody. Crossed ears. Now that's an image. Well, given we're stuck in this strange nether realm, this other world, let's let's re relax on the couch, perhaps, and chat a little about how we feel about space engineers at the moment, and sort of recent developments, recent updates, and and you know, kind of where things could go in future as well. This discussion is not at all going to be tainted by the uh, the events I, I, of tonight. I, I, is it? I would try and avoid being tainted too hard by the events of tonight because I would suggest that up until tonight things have been looking pretty damn good. But I'm not positive that what we're experiencing tonight is really can be laid at Keen's feet. I think when we're having a number of Steam-related issues as well, so. I can't help but feel like there's, there's other things going on. I, I, what guys are saying on the stream is about my connection rate being very variable. It's not inaccurate. I'm looking at my connection rate for the, for the I think stream. We're having pedestrian, good old pedestrian internet connectivity issues. Possibly, yeah. Let me do the age-old. Ask my brother to make sure he's not downloading. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, right. I'm gonna go stream a show. Can you just download a big file? He's he's escaped on the basis that he's not even online. <laughs> which which is a fairly good cover. Unlikely story. This is not loading. I mean, to be honest, Space Engineers has actually been very stable recently. With we've a couple been, of exceptions, yeah, and, we've been and doing multiplayer loads of good code stuff. has been doing better and better. In loaded, doing loads of good stuff. I mean, there is something that I, I mean, I might as well bring up now, given that we're stuck at such a boring point, and I'm going to be doing a video on this in the next couple of days because it's kind of a an important one, as far as I'm concerned. So let me just set up what I'm talking about. It, it's. An interesting thing. It is probably BT trolling me. Who knows? They've had enough of me. It has. It's loaded. Okay, the world is actually loaded. See if you can join. Acting now. I will. I will continue on my line of discussion because I feel like these fine folks can't probably warrant it. But yeah, uh, what we're really talking about here is the idea that uh, there's some weird stuff going on with Keen at the moment. Um, I, I want to nail down on kind of my opinions on it a bit separately to this, but just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, let's... It's not a very good example. How about... So yeah, how about we transition to this? Now, if I was to, say, remove the background from that thing, That is something that exists in Keen's database currently. It exists within their mirrored files on their website, and it is existing within a database that is related primarily to marketplace transactions like CSGO. 
So you think skins and so on in CSGO where they can be traded on the marketplace and exchanged for real life money or whatever. That there is an example of something that exists currently within Space Engineers, mirrored on Keen servers, that essentially falls into exactly that same category. Uh, here, here's another example. Um, there are about 30 of them. Uh, they don't just extend to suits. A number of other bits and bobs there. You know, lots of different uh, things. What this actually means is an interesting question. But hey, why not in this gap bring this up and just say that there will be a video in the next couple of days on my opinions on what this could mean and what what this is all about uh, remember that this is as far as I've seen not a DLC or anything like that it's not just gonna buy skins that's not how the marketplace works if you think of um, how for example CSGO works that's all drops so you know, I, I wouldn't wouldn't read too much in. I am connected, but it's running so slow right now that I can't spawn in. Hey, Wish. Hello. You have succeeded in arriving. I have. I mean, I think, I think. Uh, just for that fact, I'm already in the lead over some people. Mm -hmm. Everything is screwed for text. Is this stream just a, 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 a dead in the water stream? Done. Right. What, this, is, what it, is going on here? I think it's gone a bit train wreck, you know. It has. It, the train wreck has happened. It, it, it's a shame because I even have a train that I could potentially spawn in. But so do I. The chances of me finding it at, at this point are just so minute. There we go. And spawn in a space chute. Oh yeah, I've spawned mine in. It always looked like this. That's not a train. <laughs> That's a train. Holy shit, Wedgie! That's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Although saying that, it just collapsed onto the ground completely stably and was just like, no, everything's fine here. Yeah. This game works in mysterious ways. Does it not? It's like all of a sudden I'm like drifting <laughs> around a ship that. I told you that map was broken somehow. Not only that, but it managed to break space engineers. And here we have once again some of Genonymous's like just amazing pixel art. Look at this shit. <laughs> no, I'm actually not blaming SE on this because look. They're in, the game's running just fine. So we're blaming I tags. I think it's that I'm in the United States and you guys are in Britain. Far enough! And there's some connectivity stuff. That's that's my guess. Yeah, goddamn far enough. Yeah, you are. You know. Be a bit xenophobic for a second. Why not? <laughs> Keep trying, Tex. I'm trying. I tried the reboot of theme trick. It's not even having that. Let's see if I can find the, the blueprint I was actually looking for. Oh! Good job, Wedge. Good job, Wedgie. That didn't take there we long, go. did it? Now we've got a train wreck. <laughs> what sort of train is that? Don't... Have you, um, have you driven on a train ever? 
Okay, it's a long story, but a long time ago, I was trying to build a train that ran, it was sort of like a mavle, uh, maglev, but it ran in space called the gravlev. It's doing it again. The crazy FPS lag is back. Oh, I can't, I can't scroll through my, or is my mouse just run out of batteries? No, it hasn't. But we are getting hammered. Yeah, I can't escape out of this menu. Even though the, the particle effects in the background are running, <laughs> I can't get out of the blueprint menu. And Wedgie's moving and everything, but... Oh, there we go. Now, you've deleted it and my blueprint menu is back. I'm allowed to blueprint again. This is a wonderful world. What the fuck, Space Engineers? Like, how can you be so consistent and then so fucking terrible at the same time? I am in and I cannot spawn. I don't understand. How is that just a thing? I wish there was a way to check the the data on my connection to your server, because... It's in the Shift F11, right? Yeah. This is a version with no gyros, isn't it? Yay! I have a vehicle again. Frame rate fine. six. <laughs> Frame rate six. I thought they made SE multi-threaded. All right, let's observe what SE's actually up to, shall we? Because this is always a this is always an option. Let's uh, activate the Earth. Where is it? You do have that med station shared with everyone, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. My wheels aren't off. We're fine. I can't spawn in a med station, and if I try to spawn in a sweep, uh, it doesn't actually load, and then I can't commit suicide, so... You're just in purgatory, We've then. lost a text file. Yeah, pretty much. All I can say now is, tune in next week for the exciting conclusion. I guess so. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount of other options here, which is really unfortunate, but I guess what I'll probably do is make a video out of this. I mean, perhaps we can go for a quick test race in the arena. Let me um, go and open up the doorway so that we can actually fit in. <laughs> Something has gone hideously wrong with either my connection or Space Engineers this evening. I, I, don't, I hope the stream is of decent quality, but I, I think what we'll probably do is, is make a video ending to this. I think that might be a sensible way of doing things so that you guys have something to watch that's a bit more appropriate than what we've managed here. Wedgie, line on up. You're pointing the wrong direction, mate. This, this is the right way. Yep. You good? You good. Well then, in three, two, one. Activate! Goodbye! You say that. Lousy bastard. <laughs> it's no block damage on, so. Oh. Well, you could have told me before, you know. Complain all you like. 
Distraction techniques. Wow, okay, this this needs a few tweaks. It's no Northy Park, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, so the stream quality is good. Oh yes, I've got my... Uh, no, we're on memory. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually getting it. I'm seeing the stream okay. I've, I've had the wrong graph up the whole time. I, I'm not maxing out my CPU. I doubt I'm maxing out my GPU. I mean, it's a 1080 Ti water-cooled and overclocked to over 2,000 megahertz, for God's sake. Uh, if I'm maxing that out, something's hideously wrong. So the quality is fine. It's just Space Engineers has decided to have a bit of a fit. Ah! Where G incoming. Space Engineers decided to have a bit of a fit this evening, as far as this was concerned. It was always a concern when it comes to a live stream version of this. If anything that I've learned this evening, that it's firstly we need a bit more preparation still to make this work. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed the segments, uh, and, and and that side of things was working all right. The live side of things, perhaps, not so much. We can work on that, definitely. Uh, and I think I might have to pick up one of those Elgato stream decks for switching between scenes. To be honest, because yeah, doing that on the fly manually by all tabbing out and so on is a bit of a pain. But I can kill the FPS by shooting the wedgie with the Gatlings. Now we're running at point nothing of an FPS. So I'll do it again. Go. Good job. There you go. See, I win if I shoot the Gatlings. So there you go. Uh, that seems to be part of the deal. Is it uh, Weapons now cause massive FPS lag. Thank you for the boost. Oh, I'm going to keep you with the boost. Good luck with this corner, friend. <laughs> Motherfucker. Right. Bye, bye, Wedgie. I'll have you in a minute, mate. Just, I need you know, a couple of hours to accelerate again. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. Next time, guys. Next time, we'll have some proper top engineer for you. I'll get the... I'll get the scenario. The, the scenario? What do you want to call it? The word evades me. The We're formula right. is probably the... Right. I think the formula is good, I just think. It, it's the execution that's failing. Well, last week wasn't a total failure. Last week worked really well. This week... Not so much. Maybe I have a malware. No, because if I had a malware, you'd be able to see it in the in the stream problems. And no, I think something's gone up with the, with connections this evening. My bitrate is jumping around like a lunatic as well. Um, so something's not good. Something's not right on on the on the connection front. And I don't think that's on my PC end. I think that's more on the end of my internet service provider. Or maybe, I mean, I can't help but notice that if I shoot my Gatlings, I can literally reduce the server FPS and everything to, like, a crawl. So maybe there's a few bugs with Space Engineers in there, just mixed in as well. But hey, I think we'll call it here, because this, this looks to me like a bit of an abandoned ship scenario. We'll make it up to you folks. Don't you worry. And don't forget, we'll have Engineer Wars later on in the week. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that and we can do that in an environment that isn't quite so damn buggy. I'll be backwards, fool. <laughs> I'm just going to bombard you with lag. Thanks for coming, everyone. And thanks for joining me. Thanks for everybody hanging Joining in. Us. Technical difficulties will be back. Yeah, indeed. Later, folks. Bye. Bye. Oh, damn, I technically crossed the line first. I had to tab out, you cocksucker. I don't care. That's I'm not how it that works. as a win. Oh, for fuck's this, sake. This oh, yeah, I was one wrong. corner from the end. Oh. It's off. <laughs> Good job. Oh, you're a piss taker, Wedgie. You always have been. You know it. <laughs> mm.
next time on Top Engineer. Wasted fucks up wedgie. And wasted fucks up wedgie. And wasted fucks up wedgie. Here's what.